On February 18th, District 20 closed all high schools due to a teacher sick out in retaliation to the 6 of 8 initiative. The day prior, the Board of Education held a meeting where the public could speak their opinions regarding 6 of 8. Pete Alvarez gives us some insight as to what 6 of 8 entails. 6 of 8 plans is um, essentially teachers currently teach 5.5 makes up a full teaching load, which is the equivalent of 11 semester classes. Going to six of eight would move teachers towards um, having a full-time teaching equivalency of, of 12 semesters per year instead of 11. There were many reactions to this initiative from teachers, students, and parents. At the board meeting, several members of the Rampart community expressed their thoughts on the matter. Whenever teachers are telling us that something's wrong and something's probably wrong, and expecting teachers just to continue doing more ostensibly to solve some kind of staffing shortage in the district, that's not a very good approach to trying to solve those types of problems. Uh, personally, I think 6-8 does have some merits with the uh, fact that it could create smaller class sizes, and I think like we desperately do need like some more interaction between teachers and students. However, I don't think it is worth it just for the fact that teachers receive less compensation and sacrifice a planning period where they could create more, better lessons to fit their classes and help students learn, learn overall. Speaking personally and only for myself, I think 6-8 is a detrimental choice. Um, it is going to decrease the amount of time that teachers have to prepare and plan. It's going to increase our instructional load uh, and make it harder for us to do all of these like extra pieces, all of these extra moving parts that are involved in our jobs. I think 6-8 is just not a great plan. I think teachers are already severely underpaid. If babysitters get paid like $15 an hour to watch one kid, why do teachers get paid $15 an hour to watch 30 kids? It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. There's consistently a message that teachers just need to take on whatever work is expected of them. They're expected to do it for the kids and not expect pay. I think that that is a very tenuous precedent to set. District 20 has historically had high levels of education. We're a high achieving district. If you don't have the ability to attract those quality teachers, the ones who inspire students, it's going to make your high school experience very different. Ultimately, the decision was made by the district superintendent, Tom Gregory, to put this plan in effect for the 2022-23 school year. Probably first and foremost, it was um, you know, opportunities for students. Many times, you know, students need additional support. Could be expanding course offerings in general. Uh, resources are tight. Teachers and principals seem to ask for additional staffing. But I sent out a memo to all teachers. The board does not vote on something like this. The decision's been made and we're gonna move forward with this. There's not a, a right answer and not everybody's gonna win that discussion, but at least we need to, we need to listen and, and try to understand better. When major events like 6 of 8 occur, it is important for students to be informed and knowledgeable about these issues as they are directly affected. It's important to understand the issues that you are advocating for, advocating against, so that you understand the whole spectrum of it. I think it's always important for students to be aware of, of all policies ar around our school and, and changes that are taking place around our school. If you feel inclined to voice your opinion, feel free to attend the next Board of Education meeting. They occur every other Thursday or email the superintendent. With initiatives like 6 of 8, it's important to have informed discussions about decisions that impact our community. Signing off for KRM, this has been Adam Carlson. Stay safe, Rams.